Welcome to the introductory course created by World Chess. Today we'll be discussing basic tactics and endgames. Castling. When calculating a line, we want to first consider moves that force our opponent to reply. This simplifies our task, since it narrows the number of variations we have to consider. The most forcing move is to give a check. That is, attack our opponent's king. The rule of the game forces our opponent to react to this threat. Somewhat less forcing is the capture of an enemy piece. If our opponent does not want to lose material, they must capture one of our pieces in return. Forks A fork is a move that threatens to win material by attacking at least two different opposing pieces with our piece. Pins and skewers When a piece attacks an opposing higher valued or undefended piece, but the link of attack is blocked by another, less valuable opposing piece, we say that the blocking piece is pinned. The movement of a pin piece is restricted, since if it leaves the line of attack, the opponent may gain material. Sometimes pin pieces still move, for example, staying on the line of attack, moving away with check, or as a sacrifice. Checkmate with two rooks. We can checkmate a lone king with two rooks by cutting off the rows or ranks one by one. Whenever the defending king comes closer to our rooks, we use our greater mobility to switch to the other side. Checkmate with a queen. To checkmate a lone king with a queen, we need the help of our king. Mating positions exist only with the defending king at the edge of the board. We push the king to the edge by restricting it to smaller and smaller areas. Checkmate with a rook. Mating with a rook is similar to the queen. We restrict the movement area of the defending king using either Zuchzwang or the opposition of the kings. Thank you for watching the video. Next up, advanced strategies, analysis, and practice.